Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen and today we are going to cover some of my favorite white succulents. Now there are many white succulents to choose from and we're going to start off with a beautiful succulent called the Echeveria laui. It is one of the most gorgeous and sought after species of Echeveria. An elegant rosette of thick round leaves. In fact, the leaves are red, but completely covered by a powdery white wax of farina. This collector specimen is native to sheer cliff sides in Mexico where it can reach seven inches wide and rarely produces offsets. Echeveria peacockii is also known as peacock echeveria. And this is an evergreen succulent with pretty pale silvery blue rosettes. In fact, there are over 20 spoon-shaped pointed powdery leaves, and the tips can turn a pretty pinkish red when exposed to bright light. Echeveria conte is known as white cloud plant, a stunning succulent that forms a rosette of white leaves covered with a thick powdery whitish coating. Leaves can also produce a blue-green color and margins can produce red edges. This succulent is heat and drought tolerant. As the plant matures, you can expect it to reach around 12 inches wide. In summer, look for thick 18 inch tall erect stems of flowers. Echeveria runyanii topsy-turvy is a unique succulent with distorted leaves, and this one is fast growing. It's an evergreen succulent with stemless rosettes of waxy spoon-shaped leaves. Leaves are silver gray to pinkish white and have a powdery coating of natural wax or farina. Echeveria lola is one of my absolute favorite frosty echeverias a gorgeous hybrid of Echeveria lilacina and Echeveria duraciana. Its thick layer of farina gives this sturdy rosette the appearance of pearlescent marble with rosy blushing undertones. Echeveria lilacina, or ghost Echeveria, is a favorite for its open rosette shape and distinctive silvery lilac color. The fleshy leaves of this succulent are spoon-shaped and widen near the tips. A thick powdery coating of farina gives the leaves a white porcelain appearance. Echeveria leucotrica is also known as Echeveria pulvinata leucotrica. Leucotrica means white haired and as you can see it has some white hairs. That's where it gets its name. This small shrub grows up to six inches tall. Echeveria tulucensis is a silvery blue rosette from Mexico. This beauty is similar to Echeveria secunda and features lovely pale blue-green leaves on a tight rosette. The tightly packed leaves are coated in a heavy layer of powdery wax, giving it a silvery white pastel look. The farina helps the succulent thrive in full direct sun. Pink and yellow bell-shaped flowers are born on stalks. It produces clusters of offsets regularly. Next, we have some plants from the genus Dudleya, and there is about 40 different species in this genus and most of them are found in California and some can be found as far north as Oregon and down to Arizona and Baja California. The first Dudleya on our list is Dudleya anthonii, also known by the common name San Quentin Live Forever. It produces medium-sized rosettes with wide, flat, glaucous white leaves. It's not common in cultivation. Dudleya brittanii is an evergreen succulent with gorgeous chalky white rosettes and spoon-shaped leaves. Their leaves actually glow under a full moon. In fact, the white coating on Dudleya brittanii has the highest measured ultraviolet reflectivity of any plant in the world. Dudleya kespitosa is a plant known by several common names, including sea lettuce, sand lettuce, coast Dudleya, popular for its frosty gray white rosettes. In spring and summer, look for long lasting orange yellow blooms that attract hummingbirds. Dudleya greenii is a rare succulent plant known by the common name Greens Live Forever or Greens Dudleya. It produces rosettes with fleshy pointed leaves up to four inches long. In fact, rosettes grow from a small thick caudex. The flower cluster is born on an erect pentacle up to 16 inches tall. It is endemic to the Channel Islands of California where it grows along the cliffs of four of the eight islands. Dudleya Nubigena is a rosette forming perennial with flattish leaves, endemic to southern Baja California, and it is the species found in the Sierra de Laguna and surrounding lowlands on Saralva Island. Dudleya noma white sprite 
grows its ghostly white leaves in a rosette pattern. The rosette of long triangular leaves sit on top of a thick stem. Be careful when handling the white sprite as you can leave lasting finger marks on its delicate white leaves. White sprite is dormant during the summer, so it needs little to no water during this time. It prefers well-draining soil and partial sunlight. Cotyledon orbiculata is an upright grower with chalky white leaves with variable shapes. It has a powdery coating of wax that protects the plant in full sun. Exposure to direct sunlight brings out a bright red outline on leaf margins. In fall, look for pink bell-shaped flowers on flower stalks. Cotyledon undulata is known as silver ruffles plant or silver crown plant and it's easily one of the most popular in the cotyledon family. Definitely for its shell-like wavy leaves that neatly overlap one another. Leaves are whitish green and are covered in a silvery white dusting of farina. In fact, this coating protects the leaves against strong sun rays. Cotyledon oophila is a pale silvery white succulent with large finger-shaped leaves. Leaf margins can flush from maroon to purple when stressed by direct sun and drought. In summer, look for orange flowers. Makes a perfect shrub or container plant for drought tolerant gardens. Cotyledon Silver Peak is a clump forming succulent with upright elongated gray white leaves. Rounded leaf tips on this branching succulent may turn purplish red when under stress. In summer, look for orange bell shaped flowers dangling from flower stalks. Silver Peak tolerates coastal conditions from full sun to light shade and drought. Cotyledon orbiculata white platter, or known as platter pig's ears, is a succulent shrub with powdery gray-white leaves. Margins may be lined in red when exposed to full sun or cold temperature. Cotyledon white sprite is a unique and funky vertical growing succulent. Slender chalk white leaves turn burgundy in sun or cool weather. This will grow tall and continue to cluster. In summer, look for pretty coral pink flowers. Cotyledon pendens is also known as cliff cotyledon. This trailing succulent is native to Eastern Cape of South Africa. Gray green leaves are arranged in opposite pairs. Leaf margins will display red edges when stressed in sun or cooler temps. Cotyledon orbiculata flanagonii is a succulent shrub with spreading branches and spirally arranged powdery green to gray leaves. Leaves are like fingers with a red line on its edges. In spring through fall, look for orangey pink clusters of flowery bells dangling from tall stems. Cotyledon orbiculata flavida is an attractive South African succulent with long finger-like leaves that are powdery white or green. They can be slightly tipped in red. It forms a distinctive dense clump of slowly spreading ground cover or a low shrub that looks great all year round. Cotyledon orbiculata elkhorns is an interesting succulent with powdery silvery white leaves. The leaves are initially round and become flat and multi-pronged, resembling elk antlers. Cotyledon silver waves or wavy leaves pig ear or wave lata is a succulent that forms a dense mass of large rippling silvery white leaves coated with a fine white powder. Indeed, a perfect contrast plant with its fantastic wavy leaves. In fact, it looks great when paired with darker plants. Agave titanota white ice is also known as Rancho Tambor agave or chalk agave. Agave titanota is a very desirable compact succulent with ghostly white leaves arranged in a typical solitary rosette. Even more, it has stunning black hooked teeth and vivid imprints on the back of each leaf. Indeed, not your average titanota. Agave moonshine is commonly known as moonshine agave and its soft blue-green colors of this exotic agave make it a landscape specialty. Smooth-leaved clumping rosettes grow to 18 inches tall and approximately 30 inches round. Moonshine likes full sun to substantial filtered shade and is water-wise. Senecio has many furry silvery white plants. In fact, the name Senecio is Latin for old man, referring to the abundant white hair, which is typical of this genus. Curio repens, formerly known as Senecio serpens, and commonly known as blue chalk sticks, is a small, low-growing succulent branching from the base and rooting along the stem. 
and Easy Care attractive ground cover for warm, sunny hillsides. Also, it makes a great contrast plant against darker succulents, like pictured here with an aloe plant. Senecio haworthii, or the woolly Senecio cocoon plant, is a unique plant that has cylindrical, chunky white leaves that look like cocoons, hence the common name cocoon plant. A small shrub-like succulent, frosty white felted leaves that rarely blooms in cultivation. However, it can produce pom-pom shaped yellow flowers. Over time, it can grow tall leggy stems and propagation is easily done via stem cuttings. Senecio staple eiformis is also known as Clina stapley eiformis or pickle plant. An attractive perennial succulent with pencil-like stems with purple green patterns and tiny white spines. This variety is slow growing, reaching up to 10 inches tall and remains upright long-term. It forms clumps by spreading underground stems. Senecio dicarii, also known as yellow puffs or Madagascar senecio, is a lush silvery green succulent growing on thick stems. Thumb-sized flattened leaves are arranged pointing upward along the stems. These drought tolerant plants can grow three to four feet tall and up to four feet wide. In spring, look for clusters of button-like yellow gold flower puffs. Senecio palmary is a brilliant succulent with silvery white fuzzy leaves that grow on bright white felty stems. The leaves are oblong shaped and slightly toothed. In spring through summer, look for bright golden yellow daisies that grow in plentiful clusters on upright stems. Senecio scabosis or silver coral is a bean-like plant that has this silvery woolly coating. This coating helps protect the leaves from full sun in its native South African habitat. The woolly coating can be rubbed off and once rubbed off, it will not grow back, but new leaves will eventually replace the damaged leaves. This species produces yellow daisy shaped blooms in summer. Senecio candy cans or Senecio angel wings is a sensational plant with toothy silvery white heart shaped leaves. Aside from its silvery leaves, this plant gets its distinctive look from its tightly rounded foliage. Senecio angel wings is a fast growing succulent up to 16 inches tall. A perfect bold contrast plant to green leaf plants and flowering plants. Senecio cineraria is also known as Jacobia maritima or Dusty Miller, sometimes called silver ragwort. It's grown for its silvery white leaves and it is a bushy perennial subshrub. Leaves are finely textured and covered with fine matted hairs, giving them a felted or woolly silvery or lace-like appearance. An excellent contrast plant in flower beds and gardens. Senecio nivio aris is a striking upright plant with long feather-like leaves with a soft texture. Leaves are silvery white and are stunning paired with other brightly colored annuals and perennials. Large daisy-like composite flowers are produced on mature plants on flower spikes. Stachys byzantina is also known as lamb's ear and it's a perennial ground cover and it hails from the Middle East. It features thick, soft, velvety, silver gray leaves that form a rapidly spreading ground cover. In summer, look for tiny purplish pink flowers that appear and it's also been recommended that the flowers be removed to better enhance the foliage. The leaves emit a pleasant scent when crushed and the plant is deer resistant and moderately drought tolerant. Brachyglotus grayi is also called Senecio grayi, daisy bush, eversilver, silver dormouse, commonly known as daisy bush. It forms a dense mound of velvety silvery blue leaves. It belongs to the genus Brachyglotus or the genus Senecio depending on which authority is being followed. In summer, look for yellow daisy-like blooms. Cerastium tomentosum is also known as snow in summer or mouse ear chickweed. And it gets its common name, snow in summer, from the prolific white blooms that look like blankets of snow in summer. An easy care perennial ground cover that spreads through rhizomes, often grown in dry, sunny areas with poor soil. Plants form a low, fast spreading mat of silvery gray leaves studded with tiny white flowers. 
Seropegia fusca is an unusual plant forming erect woody stems reaching up to five feet tall. In fact, it grows more like a shrub with several spreading cylindrical branches, branching mainly near the base. Leaves are deciduous and narrow leaves are arranged in opposite pairs, looking similar to organ pipes. In spring and summer, look for reddish brown flowers growing in clusters. Euphorbia mycinites is commonly called myrtle spurge. An evergreen succulent perennial with sprawling stems of fleshy blue-green leaves in close spirals. In spring, look for clusters of chartreuse yellow flowers. Noted for its season-long interest, and depending on where you live, it can be regarded as a garden plant or a horrible pest. Euphorbia lactea, or white ghost plant, or variegated white ghost plant, is commonly known as mottled spurge, mottled candlestick, or milk stripe euphorbia. White ghost is a cactus-like succulent shrub or a small tree, and it's almost totally white. Therefore, it lacks the chlorophyll-bearing tissue necessary to produce green stems like other cultivars. Its pale triangular stems grow in an upright candelabra formation and are covered in sharp, short spines. Euphorbia lactea cristata is also known as coral cactus, crested elkhorn, or crested euphorbia. This slow grower is composed of wavy fan-shaped coral-like branches arranged in an alternating undulating pattern. These branches are blue-gray to silvery with edges of pink when happily stressed. Euphorbia stenoclata is also known as silver thicket. It has a nice blue-green coloration with very sharp but thick succulent spines. The new growth is more green and soft to the touch but it hardens in a few months. Eventually it grows into a tree with gnarled blue-gray to silver woody stems topped with a head of spiny blue leaves. It can be a dangerous plant to people and pets, so consider its placement carefully and keep away from areas that may get brushed up against. Definitely makes an excellent impenetrable barrier. Euphorbia marginata is commonly known as snow on the mountain. And this warm weather annual is native to prairies from Minnesota to the Dakotas to Colorado and Texas. Grown as much for its foliage as for its flowers. Euphorbia marginata's small but showy leaves may be light green, variegated, or completely white. Tiny flowers, each with whitish petal-like bracts, are born in clusters at the top of stems. Euphorbia polygona snowflake is a chalky white succulent native to South Africa. It is a heavily spined variety that tends to grow in clumps. Snowflake cactus has deep ribs, somewhat like a barrel cactus. However, this beauty is coated with chalky white powder that gives it a frosty appearance. One of my favorite cacti is Apuntia microdasis or bunny ear cactus a bushy perennial cactus with oval to round flattened small pads. These pads grow in pairs and give it a bunny appearance and are covered with short bristly hairs, thus giving them a white appearance. Other common names include angel wings, bunny cactus, paddle cactus, and polka dot cactus. Take care not to prick yourself with the spines that are easily dislodged from the pads of this plant. Kalanchoe Areophylla is also called the snow white panda plant. It's a tender succulent with white fleshy leaves grown in a mat forming clump. The leaves are completely covered in a fine white cilia that gives it a soft texture. Areophylla actually means woolly leaf in Latin. This plant displays light pink flowers with white centers on thin stalks. Kalanchoe biherensis is commonly called velvet leaf feltbush or elephant ear kalanchoe. It's a succulent tree-like shrub that is native to Madagascar. Kalanchoe pumila is also known as flower dust plant or ghost plant. A stemmed grower with crowned leaves that form a small clumping bush. Its oblong leaves are white to pale pink and have dainty scalloped edges. This plant is coated with a natural powdery coating of farina that gives it a silvery appearance. This farina also protects it in full sun. In winter, look for small pink flowers on top of tall bloom stalks. Perfect for hanging planters or on a shelf. Kalanchoe rhombopilosa 
is also called Pies from Heaven. It's a fan-shaped evergreen perennial with silvery green leaves that are slightly woolly. Additionally, leaves have a spectacular coppery brown modeling with lighter outer margins and widely toothed edges. Pies from Heaven form small mounded shrub-like forms. Kalanchoe tomentosa is also known as panda plant or pussy ears. Panda plant is a slow growing perennial with adorable grayish green leaves that are entirely covered in tiny white silvery hairs. This adorable slow growing perennial is so cute with these little leaves that are so fuzzy and the velvety leaves are also edged in chocolate brown spots at the tips. It does very well indoors and is great for beginners. Kalanchoe bracteata is commonly called silver teaspoons. It has pretty silvery white pubescent leaves with tiny hairs and a waxy coating on the leaves of young four angled stems. Leaves grow opposite of each other on the stems and form a small open shrub over time. It can become leggy with age, but can be pruned for a more compact growth pattern. In spring and summer, look for orange red cross shaped flowers easily propagated by stem cuttings, and it can also be grown from seed, although much harder and much more of a lengthy process. Kalanchoe hildebrantii is a shrubby succulent plant with woody stems and lovely smooth silvery gray leaves. Hildebrantii and Kalanchoe bracteata are quite similar and are often confused with each other. However, they can be differentiated by their flower blooms. Hildebrantii produces white flowers that are not quite as remarkable as the flowers of Bracteata, which are pretty orange-reddish color. Graptopetalum paraguayense is commonly known as ghost plant, mother of pearl plant, or opal gray. Beautiful opalescent leaves produce pastel shades of gray, pink, and lavender. However, when grown in full sun, the leaves turn a yellow pink. Rosettes trail and sprawl out beautifully making it a perfect choice for hanging pots. Stiff stems elongate as they grow and have a tendency to spill out of pots. Easy to grow and maintain and coveted by many. Crassula deceptor is also called Crassula arda and it is a dwarf columnar succulent with short erect branches. Fleshy leaves are tightly packed together in overlapping pairs along the branches. It is an incredibly architectural succulent and produces open, somewhat hairy heads of tiny cream flowers in late spring or autumn. Crisula Moon Glow is a stem variety with chubby, tightly stacked leaves of silvery green. Leaves form an upright column around each stem and are covered in a layer of velvety fine hairs. It is thought to be a hybrid of Crisula Deceptor and Crisula Falcata. Crisula Mesembri Anthemoides Tinelli is a unique looking shrubby succulent with a silvery blue tint to the leaves. Short fine hairs cover the leaves, giving it a velvety appearance and a frosted look. Great for adding height and texture in a succulent arrangement. Crisula cotyledonis is also known as Crisula obvolata and it's known for its fun, thick, succulent leaves that are disc-like and they fan out. The leaves are silvery green and they're covered with a soft velvety coating that makes this plant so fun to touch. This species can tolerate indoor light conditions and is an easy, low maintenance grower. Crisula ovata variegata is not completely white. However, it does produce some all white leaves. The solid cream leaves contain no chlorophyll at all so it does not produce its own food via photosynthesis. Instead, these white leaves infiltrate their greener neighbor's tissues by extracting water and nutrients. Leaves are thick and rounded and are typically green with white variegation. In winter, look for clusters of white star-shaped flowers. Encelia farinosa is commonly known as brittle bush, brittle bush, or incensio. This medium-sized rounded shrub has long oval silvery gray leaves that are somewhat fuzzy. Branches are brittle and woody and contain a fragrant resin. In the late winter and early spring, look for small yellow flowers that form on long stalks well above the leafy stems. Aloe acutissima is commonly known as blue spider aloe and has eerie blue leaves with pink margins. Leaves are kind of spidery in shape 
arching outwards from the stem. Cephalophyllum alstonii is commonly known as red spike ice plant. This low growing succulent is a mat forming plant that will explode with these hot carmine pink flowers in January through May. Pileocereus pachyocladus is commonly known as blue torch cactus, columnar cactus, Brazilian blue cactus, or bright woolly blue spires. Semi-slender stems are grown in glow-in-the-dark light blue and spineless margins are almost covered with a little woolly mass of downy fuzz. As Paz Toam melanostele is also known as Peruvian old lady cactus. Spines are a golden yellow color and its white hue comes from the thick wool-like coating. This vertical growing cactus can reach up to 12 inches tall. S. Postoa lanata is also known as old man cactus, Peruvian old man cactus, cotton ball cactus, snowball old man, woolish esposita, or snowball cactus. Peruvian old man cactus is covered by a thick woolly coating of white hair. In fact, the outer covering is so soft that people in Peru have actually used it as filling for pillows. Esposstupsis dibovski is a furry cactus that looks very similar to Peruvian old lady cactus, but this one is actually native to Brazil rather than Peru. This ribbed cactus gets its unique appearance from the woolly white hair that covers the stem. Long spines can be seen extending past the layer of white hairs. Senecio articulatus is also known as candle plant, and it is technically now called curio articulatus. An odd succulent with sausage-shaped segmented stems topped with deeply lobed leaves. It naturally sheds all of its leaves in spring, goes dormant in summer, but re-sprouts its leaves in time for winter. Senecio medley woodii is a succulent shrub with thick branch stems covered in white felt and egg-shaped leaves, produces daisy-like flowers with bright yellow rays and orange-yellow discs. Graptivaria, a grim one, has tight rosettes of fleshy, silvery blue leaves with interesting flowers. The flowers are sun yellow with many fire orange dots organized in a loose band across the middle of the petal. Pachyphytum oviferum is a glaucous succulent of adorable chubby leaves and commonly known as moonstones. The thick leaves can be silvery blue to lavender and have a thick powdery coating of natural wax. It produces tall bloom stalks with white flowers, each containing a deep burgundy spot. Pachyphytum bracteosum has fleshy gray-blue leaves that form loose rosettes. It is similar to its relative, Pachyphytum oviferum, but it tends to grow larger, covered in a thick powdery coating of farina, giving it a soft pastel look. In spring, look for small pink rose flowers. Pachyphytum glutencoli is a chubby succulent that can grow quite tall. This plant is very similar to Pachyphytum oviferum, but it tends to grow taller and have flatter leaves. Its colors range from deep silver to vibrant pink. Pachyphytum zadovski is a succulent plant with round leaves that completely cover the stem. The chubby leaves are a mystical combination of silver, pink, and blue tones blended together with a coat of powdery farina. Pachyphytum blue haze is also commonly known as blue pearls. This is a hybrid of Pachyphytum bracteosum and Pachyphytum glutencoli. Pachyphytum clavifolia, or jeweled crown, is a silvery blue round rosette with fleshy leaves that can blush pink at the edges when grown in bright sunlight. It is a hybrid of Pachyphytum bracteosum and Echeveria rosea. Pachyphytum shidecari has loose rosettes of silvery blue, taking on pink tinges when grown in bright sun. Graptopetalum amethystinum is an unusual succulent plant species, which looks like moon rocks with a powdery coating. It gets its name from the purplish hue of its leaves. Tephrocactus articulatus inermis is also known as pinecone cactus, a spineless variety that does in fact resemble a silvery to powdery blue pine cone or spruce cone. Haworthia attenuata is a funky variety of a much loved zebra plant. But this cultivar has wider, more eye-catching raised white bands to its leaves. Gasteria frosty is a clumping variety with distinctive milky white leaves with just a touch of green. Leaves stay stacked in a single plane and fan evenly throughout maturity. Mammillaria gracilis fragilis, 
or thimble cactus is now known as Mammillaria vetula gracilis, a small pincushion cactus densely covered with white spines. It grows in prolific clusters that if given space can spread into a mounded mat. The stem segments fall off easily but readily reroot, native to Mexico, and produces miniature pale cream to pink blooms. Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. We're so glad that you could view these beautiful white succulents with us today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or if we missed one of your favorite white succulents, we'd love to hear about it. Please leave us a comment and give us a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.